Hello, hello, welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to be talking about memory map images with list multiplication. So in this example, let's say you wanted to create a tic-tac-toe game, right? You would need a board and that board can be represented by a list of lists like we have here. So in Python, the easiest way to create such a list of lists is you have, you first you wanna create the row. So you take a list of zero and you multiply that by three and you get a list of three zeros like so. Then you put that inside a list and you multiply that by three as well. So you get three of these lists of zeros. So after creating our board, we print our board. This is our new board. So we expect this before and then player one moves. So at position zero, zero player one uh, sets one. So we expect zero, zero. So this top left corner and player two selects position two, two and marks that as two. So two, two is this bottom right corner. So after that, we print our board and we expect the board to look something like this, right? We have one at the top left corner and two at the bottom right corner. So if we run this code, you can see that it's not what we expected. Every row seems to have changed, right? Uh, the entire uh, column at, uh, index zero for each row is set to one and the last element for each row is two. So something went wrong, right? And uh, it definitely has to do with how we created our board. So let's go to our uh, you know, our whiteboard here and draw our memory map image to see what went wrong. So let's draw our call stack. And then we create a list. And that list has zero times three, right? So we create another list. Let me move this down a bit. And then we have an integer of zero. So when we multiply, what we're doing is actually we set every, uh, at every index, we set a reference to what we're multiplying. So it's that zero. And then we multiply by three again. So every, at each index, we set it to the same list reference. So now you can see that whenever we change this, uh, any row, we're actually changing the same list object. So it's it's not three different list objects, but it's the same reference to the same list object. So when we create our board variable, and then reference to list, we print our board. So it's zero, zero, zero. All right. All right. So now when player one moves board zero, zero, so board, this is zero, one, two, and then zero, one, two, we take, uh, we create an int one, take our red marker, cross this out. And now zero, zero points to one, but not just zero, zero, but one zero and two zero as well will point to one. And then when player two moves, we create an int two. We take our red marker and then we set two, two to this int two. But remember, it's not just index two, but index zero, one, and two. So all three of them. 
So now when we print our board, we get 102, 102, and 102. And this is because at each index, we are referencing the same list object. Okay, so instead of doing it this way, the way you want to do it is you create a new board and then for I in range three, you take board dot append zero times three. Okay. And then now we, if we run this code, we see that we get what we want it, which is this board. All right. And one way to shorten this is instead of doing it like this, you can take away this multiply by three and just do for I in range three. And then we run it and we get the same thing. And this is called list comprehension, which we'll talk about in our next videos. Okay. Uh, thank you for watching and I hope you have a good one.